Yeah, I, uh, I was living in Yorkville in 1964, uh, and Yorkville was becoming the hub of, of uh, music, certainly in Toronto, but probably for all of Canada. There's about 30 clubs there, and I landed a job at a club. My job consisted of, they taught me how to run the espresso machine, uh, I washed dishes, uh, I uh, cleaned the club, and when I cleaned the club, I did it in the afternoons. And bands used to rehearse in there in the daytime. To make a long story short, one of the bands was a group called the Poppers. They, um, they were going through hard times, and I used to listen to what they had to say, and, and I helped them out by making them sandwiches, because they were kind of starving. And uh, I guess they liked the way I made a sandwich because they, uh, they uh, asked me to be their manager. And that's really how I got my start. I mean, there's a couple little things before that, but that's the major thing. And the Poppers went on to be, although not the greatest success, but one of the earliest international successes from Toronto or from Canada, because this is even before the Guess Who and before, uh, before everybody, really. It's seven years before Canadian Contact, well, six years. And uh, so that's how I got started. Metaphorically, the way it used to be was hundreds of people could sell tens of thousands of records. Now, tens of thousands of people can sell hundreds of records. And I think that sort of says what's going on. I mean, everybody makes music. Everybody's got it on the internet. You know, in the end, it comes down to finding the best talent and working as hard as you can. I don't think that's changed all that much. Hi, I'm Bernie Finkelstein and you're watching The Experts on Juno TV.